Let's graph the linear equation for y equals 2x plus 2. And we'll do it two ways. First, we'll plug some values in for x, figure out what y is, and then we'll graph those points. Then we'll use the slope-intercept formula, y equals mx plus b, to check our work. So let's just put some values in for x. I like to start with 0, since I know that's going to be on my graph. 2 times 0 is 0 plus 2. That gives us y as 2. Let's put a 1 in for x. So 2 times 1 is 2 plus 2. That'll give us 4 on the y-axis. And then let's use negative 1. 2 times minus 1 is minus 2 plus 2. That gives us 0. So these are our points. So now we can graph these points. Let's graph x is 0, y is 2. So here's 0, and then y, 1, 2. So that's our first point. We have 1, 4. So we go 1, and then up 1, 2, 3, 4. And one more point, minus 1, 0. So x is minus 1, and y is 0. So it just stays right there. So we could have done this with two points, but 3 is nice in case you made a mistake. Let's put a line over this. And then we'll put arrows on the end to show it goes to infinity. And this is the graph for y equals 2x plus 2. Now let's check our work with the slope-intercept formula. So we have y equals mx plus b. b, that's the y-intercept, where we'll intercept the y-axis. And b is 2. So we just find the y-axis 2 right there. Next, for the slope here, we think of the slope as a fraction. So instead of 2, let's call it 2 over 1, and that'll give us rise over run. So we'll go to this point here, we'll rise 2, 1, 2, and then we'll run, we'll go over 1. And we can just keep doing that. Rise 1, 2, over 1. Rise 1, 2, over 1. Likewise, we could go in the opposite direction. Instead of rising, we could go down 1, 2, and over 1 in the opposite direction. 1, 2, over 1. And you can see that all of these points they're on our equation y equals 2x plus 2. So we know we've done this correctly. This is Dr. B with the graph for the linear equation y equals 2x plus 2. Thanks for watching.